Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a feature review. So for today's review, I wanted to show how to enable and use Google Translate's new feature called Tap to Translate. So once you've had, or once you've installed the most recent update to Google Translate, when you open up the app, you'll hit your overflow menu and you'll go into settings and you'll see a new entry right at the top called Tap to Translate. So when you touch that, you'll get a couple of different options. So the first is to enable Tap to Translate. That's pretty obvious. If you want to use it, you turn it on. Um, the next is to show a notification. That's a kind of optional. You don't really need to see it, but once you swipe down on your um, notification drawer, you'll get the option to see more options if you need quick access to it. So for me, I just leave it off. It's kind of like a, if it's in the background and I know it's on, then I can kind of forget about it. And if I need it, it's already ready to be used. Mm -hmm. So once you do that, you're all set. There's nothing mm -hmm. else you need to enable or do or change or do or worry about to get it started. So from here, in order to use tap to translate, what you'll do is you'll need to be on a page on an, in an area where you can copy text. So in this case, I'll open up the Wikipedia app and let's say I'm reading an article and I need to translate. Let's say for me, example, for me, English is not my native language, but I have English as the default language and I need to have something translated. So let's say I'm scrolling through this article and um, I see that I, I see the word determination and I want to translate it because I'm not quite sure what that means or I need more of a context. So what I'll do is I'll highlight the, have the word highlighted and then I'll copy the text. So now you'll see a little icon show up at the top right of your screen. Um, it can it'll automatically hide as well if you long touch long enough on it. So um, I'll do that again and I'll touch the word and from here since my default language is English um, let's say I want to translate it into let's pick Spanish just for the um, sake of simplicity here so I'll scroll down to Spanish and there it is it gives me the trans the Spanish word is close enough to English so I know how to speak it in let's say if Spanish was my native tongue um, here you can also have have quick access to settings if you need it nothing different here but let's say you want more from more information or additional help you wanted to be spoken aloud you can um, hit the overflow menu here and select open in main app so from here it'll open the google translate app itself it'll give you the dictionary uh, or give you dictionary so you get um, the definition of it um, as well as synonyms and things like that um, and then you can, and basically that's all there really is for that. You can hear it spoken in English or Spanish, so um, you know exactly how to pronounce it um, if you want to say it in another language. So that's really all there is for that. You can do it in just in just about any app. So let's say I want to get into, um, let's say I'm on a web, web page in Chrome, so let's say... Um, let's try it in Twitter I don't know if this will work I haven't tried it in um, a lot of places just yet um, but let's say I am on the Twitter homepage and um, okay so I can let's say I want to translate survived same thing I'll hit copy touch the translate button and it automatically translates so most languages that are or languages that are supported in Google Translate will show up so um, it will um, automatically translate it there and it gives me the translation in the overflow and then hitting the X will take me back to whatever I was in. So it's just an overflow or it's just a little window that pops up on top of whatever app you're using. So um, you don't have to um, get out of that app. You don't have to leave it and go to somewhere else. It's all um, within that same screen. So you don't have to forget where you were and resume where you're going unless you switch into the um main Google Translate app and then you can just back out of it and resume where you were or what you were doing. So that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, want to have more uh, different words or different apps tested, then you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening and until next time.